Headquarters, United States Army, 780th Military Intelligence Brigade, Cyber. Task Force Echo, 126th Cyber Protection Battalion, assumes mission responsibility from Task Force Echo, 125th Cyber Protection Battalion. U.S. Cyber Command's Task Force Echo 3 relieves Echo 2 in a transfer of authority ceremony hosted by the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More from the ceremony in a moment. Also this week, March is Women's History Month. It's pothole repair season and lots of news for job seekers. These stories and more, but first, if you've gone to the Fort Meade website in the last week, you'll no doubt notice a big change. In fact, not only has the look changed, but the internet address has changed as well. You'll find the new address at home.army.mil slash mead. The change is part of the Installation Management Command's initiative to standardize all of its websites so users can quickly find information no matter where they're assigned. The new website was designed by public affairs professionals at MCOM in partnership with U.S. Army Headquarters as well as Army Software Engineers and Visual Information Specialists. Although the site's been standardized to match others at MCOM, there's still work to be done localizing it for Fort Meade. This is where you, the users, need to let us know what needs to be updated, changed, or made better. You can do that by just clicking on the Contact Us link at the bottom of the home page. If you have any questions about the new site, just contact us here at Fort Meade Garrison Public Affairs. Meanwhile, McGill Training Center hosted a rather unique ceremony this week. The 780th Military Intelligence Brigade hosted a transfer authority ceremony from Task Force Echo 125th Cyber Protection Battalion to Task Force Echo 126th Cyber Protection Battalion. What made the ceremony unique is Task Force Echo is the first Army National Guard unit of this size to support U.S. Cyber Command operations full time. Both teams consist of nearly 150 National Guard soldiers. The 125th was made up of National Guard members from seven states, the 126th from 12. Flags from all the states provided a backdrop for the ceremony. The deployments for Team Echo was nearly 400 days, most of those at Fort Meade. Task Force Echo is aligned under the 780th Military Intelligence Brigade here at Fort Meade. 780th Commander Colonel Brian Vile. Today, we bid farewell to the second iteration of Task Force ECHO and the soldiers from seven states. At the same time, we officially welcome into the brigade the third iteration of this outstanding force, with soldiers hailing from 12 states. Their combined presence represents the dizzying array of technical backgrounds and experience that comes from intensive training and extensive work in both the private and public sectors. The cyber warriors before you are engaged in operations that no previous generation of soldier could ever have imagined. The work they do, the weapons they use, were unheard of just a few short decades ago. In other news, tis the season, the season for pothole repairs. The Roads and Grounds Department will start filling potholes next week. Now is the time to report all those potholes you find on your way to work. You can do that through the Fort Meade app, available in any app store and approved for government phones. The app allows you to report the pothole and even upload a picture. You can also report potholes by emailing or by calling 301-677-9665. Potholes on Maryland 175 can be reported to the county. Their phone number is 410-582-5650. Potholes on Reese and 175 and other construction areas can be emailed in as well. In the housing areas, call or email the maintenance folks at Corvius. And finally, if your car sustained any damage to potholes on post, contact the Fort Meade's Claim Division. Elsewhere, lots of events for job seekers coming up. Let's start with the Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program. They're hosting a couple of seminars, applying for a federal job on March 27th and marketing yourself for a second career on March 28th. Learn strategic money management, that's also on the 28th. SFL TAP's next employer day hiring event is coming up April 18th from 11 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. Army Community Services is offering a resume lab on March 21st and then a technical job fair on the 27th. Call ACS for more information. Meanwhile, a reminder from the Equal Opportunity Office and the 902nd Military Intelligence Group, this year's Women's History Month observance is coming up Thursday, March 21st at 11.30 at Club Mead. This year's guest speakers include leaders from the Maryland National Guard, Maryland's Adjutant General Major Linda Singh, and Command Sergeant Major Belisa Wilson. This is General Singh from a couple of years ago at McGill Training Center during Sexual Assault and Abuse Prevention Month. Once again, Fort Meade's Women's History Month observance is March 21st at 11.30 at Club Mead. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.